Okay guys, this literally just got delivered like, I don't know, four or five minutes ago. So it is the Crafts Companion Today special that they had on uh, HSN, of course. Um, it's still available. I don't know if the auto ship is still available or not, but either way, I'll link in the description box and that would be an affiliate link, which means I'll make a small commission for your purchase items through that link. I know it was listed for still less than what they had initially posted it as. Uh, it's the Crafts Companion Layout Collection. I think that's what it's called. To be honest, I still have not had time to watch a demo, so I honestly have no idea what is really in here, what it's about, what we're supposed to do with it, nothing. So I guess that's good. Um, funny enough, they sent it in its own box, and the box is a little bit beat up over here. Oh, hopefully I didn't show too much info there. No, that was just, yeah, so that's just the info from Crafts Companion. They put the labels um, on the other side, so this is the top of the box, but the labels are under, like, what would be the base of the box. So let's see what we have. I mean, this is interesting. I usually like to show you guys how I just open everything up, but I did not expect that it was going to be something like this. So we have an empty piece of cardboard there, and then this bigger one. So let me take this out. Um, yeah, so when they first put on the site, you know, a day or two ahead of the craft day or whatever it was, it was $129.95 listed, and then right now it's like at $109. Well, at least it was yesterday, um, after the craft day, and on the craft day it was $99.95. And somebody asked me uh, in the comments, like, oh, I didn't get to see, what is the today special? I'm like, I honestly don't know. I don't think I've responded to that comment yet, but hopefully this will help that person, because yeah, I haven't had a moment either. So let's open this guy up. Um, today will just be an unboxing. I actually did get pretty much everything else that I ordered is also delivered, but I'm just going to unbox this in this video. That way we're focusing on this one thing and then we will have a tutorial later. Okay, so right here we have a big binder. Um, let's see. It is about 11 and a half inches wide and just about 9 inches tall. It looks like there's some carriers in there. Let me take this wrapper off. I'll be right back. So all I did was open it on the one side and it just came right up. And it has some stuff to keep it nice and steady or sturdy. Sometimes they keep things like this, like to do felting or other projects, or even if you're shaping flowers, like you can push into your paper on these things. So, you know, but otherwise let's toss that. <laughs> um, it has a little thing here holding this. Oh, it's a bummer. It looks like, I hope this isn't smashed. This does not look like it's in the right spot. Um, hopefully it's okay. You know what I'm saying? The binder clippies are already kind of off. Let's see what's happening here. I doubt it's supposed to have that big old gap. I can't even get this out of here. So let's use this to open this up. Uh, interesting. It is, there we go. All right, we're going to lift this up. It's like a little lever here, and I guess that's going to let you open it. Okay. Interesting. So let me see. When I bring it back, it's pushing it down on its own. They just were, they were not hitting each other. That's weird. Hold on, what is going on here? Now I can't get it back. Unless you have to do it with a lot of strength. I'm assuming. Nope, nope, what's going on? <laughs> okay, there's some stuff going on here. Clearly you bring this out. Um, okay guys, I do not know why this is like this. Huh, weird. Okay, let's put that back in there. I, I'm assuming what that does is, um, as you can see, it, it came out pretty easily earlier, but it's going to hold these things back, I think is what it's doing. So there, it's loose, and then if you clip it back here, it's tighter. It's not super tight, you can still move it, but it gives some restriction. I don't understand why this part's not going back the way I would want. Uh, that's weird. But maybe I'm doing something wrong, so let's just... <laughs> This should click in there, right? We're assuming. Oh, okay. We'll mess with that later. I'll figure it out. Um, magnetic sheets. It looks like there's two of them. And some panels to separate things out. Yeah, it starts off with stamps and stamps is what it says. Stamp stamps. So two uh, dividers for that. And if there's some instruction in here on how to work that, I will hopefully figure that out. Okay. I could tell already when I opened it, they were off. They weren't really touching each other correctly, so we will see. And this, I'm assuming, is the meat and potatoes. 
I don't know if they mean card layouts. Um, I know back in the day we had things called recipes, right, for cards, and it's like, oh, the rule of thirds and all these other things, but I love recipes for, like, layouts and for cards because it just makes it easy. Whatever you have, you just follow along, like, a square of this size and a rectangle of that size and, you know, whatever flower or something you want to add, and it just works out. So we have a nice box, which is interesting because we have this box that's sturdy, but then you also have the binder layout collection kind of interesting that's just so generically named isn't it layout collection but all right so we have some decorative border dies three of them again they're kind of just open-ended just put them on the end of something might be very cute for um rosette making right so you just put on the edge look you have a rosette that's all like deco edge or like a little scallop or wavy that'd be very cute um these are 8.1 inches long we have adhesive dewdrops. I like the colorway. Hopefully, it goes through everything. It's very unicorny, in my opinion, right? With the pink and the like, lavender, more purple, uh, light blue there. Really cute. And then it goes from small to large, and they're kind of small ones here. And I don't know, they intersperse them really cute. Satin ribbon, uh, three sizes of ribbon, it says. So, three widths, right? Three eighths, maybe an inch or an inch, and, eh, maybe an inch ish. Maybe three quarters, I don't know. And then the background is a little bit wider, coming in at like an inch or so. Maybe a little bigger than that. Um, you can see them kind of here. Again, cute colorway. Nesting tag dies. Um, so some little tags, some are smaller. The largest one is 1.8 by 3.1. And then the little guy, we can see he's about the size of half my pinky there. Cute. Another small guy, nesting square dies. Oh, okay. Um, now that I think about it, everything's all individually packaged. We're supposed to put them on those magnetic carriers, right? Nesting square dies. So we have the scallop square and then the little um, layering pieces. Very cute. 2.6 inches on those. Um, oh, I guess I was turning it upside down, wasn't I? So I can put everything back. There we go. Nesting circles. Again, a lot of these things are very basic. Great for a beginner. I have tons of these things already, but heck, we're always looking to add more. <laughs> so there we go. We have some different ones um, layered there with the circles. The largest one is three inches, and the smallest one I would say is like maybe an inch. To be honest, I really like having different circles of different sizes from different companies because you never know. Sometimes you're like, oh, I want that one to be just a little bigger or whatever it is, and then, oh, maybe this won't work, you know? So I. I'm happy to have that. Um, decorative embellishment dies. That's all it says. And you can see just some basic shapes. A little leaf sprig, which is uh, a great one to have. And then star, you know, little pennant like a uh, triangle flower and some hearts. And then metal nesting frames. The largest one is 4.1 by 3.1. I love label kind of things. This is right up my alley. And you can make apertures with these. You can make frames. I mean, obviously layer them, matte layers. Very good. Banner dies. Again, another essential in my opinion. I love this kind of thing. If you stamp something and then just run it through and that will help you cut it out. And it's a good size, so I think that will probably work with a lot of sentiments you probably already have. And then just different ways of layering these. The largest one is four by 1.6. The largest one on this decorative frames uh, is um, 2.9 by 4.1. Love that they have a re like a repeating one, right? So these two do go together, and then like these two go together, and then this little kind of oval, oblong oval there. Cute. I love this one. I mean, this is nice uh, for a background or something, but I like that little guy. Square frame dies. Okay, this is a little bit larger than the one we saw before. So um, they could have put those in one thing, I think, but there you go. Three and a half inches square is the largest one, and then it goes in from there. We have ovals. I love my ovals, you guys. So this one has tons of matte ovals, matte layers, and then the scallopy kind of one on the outside. The one on the outside is 5.1 by 3.6 inches. Cute. And then the circle frame, again, you know, something can go with the other guys. I love the size of these. This is really great. Um, nice size, even for like a shaped card. The largest one is 4.6 uh, diameter, right? And then they go in from there with some really nice and tight layers, right? They're not huge, so that's nice. Um, acrylic stamps, guys, not photopolymer. These are acrylic. It says, you know, sending you hugs and kisses or sending you sweet wishes, best wishes, thinking of you, you are loved, treat yourself. All kinds of everyday things, birthday wishes, um, let, lots of love, have an amazing day. That's just a few of them, so lots of sentiments on that one. 
And then this whole big, I would say eight inch stamp um, of different icons, you know? Image stamps is what this one says, 19 pieces. The largest is 2.6 by 3.5. So we have like the little bird house there. And so cute things to stamp or color or make your own little pattern background paper. Um, very focal pointish in my opinion. I mean, some of these are smaller obviously, but like some of these larger ones. So that's nice. Again, acrylic on those. Now we're getting into some embossing folders. And this one it is a 3D embossing folder. It's called Blooming Flowers. It looks like it's a four by six. So if you guys are into that size, great. If you're not, you're gonna be a little bit out of luck. Um, I mean, you can still use it for a three and a half by five, or three and a half, four and a quarter by five, like your A2 size card. But again, it's four by six, and it looks like it might stop a little bit smaller than the four by six as far as the pattern. But you know what? Before I say that, and maybe turn people away. Let's just make sure. Uh, yeah, it's like three and three quarters wide, the actual pattern. So yeah, they're already kind of matte layering on that one. So it's a little small. Uh, I love the image though. I mean, how pretty is that, right? That I know it's hard to see, but it's in there. <laughs> Very pretty. And again, it's a 3D embossing folder. This one is 2D, meaning your standard embossing folder um, type. And it's fabulous florals. It's five and a half inch square. And that is a fabulous floral design, really pretty. Love this kind of thing. Anything oversized like this I like better because you can run lots of different sizes through it. Uh, beautiful butterflies, again, 2D embossing folders, so your standard embossing folder is not a 3D folder. Um, depending on the company, the 3D folders can be thicker. I don't recall if theirs are, I'm assuming they are. Really pretty, and this one looks bigger. I said five by seven, yeah, it's a five by seven folder and really pretty with the butterflies, of course. Pattern paper, you guys, linen card, and then layout collection recipe cards. That's what I was looking for. This will be good, hopefully. Uh, okay, well, let's check out the pattern papers. And again, I did sign up for the auto ship because I I always enjoyed getting the Crafters Companion auto ships and I signed up for a sub box one, right? And then I think I stopped after 40 something. Uh, they were not getting repetitive. They were just getting chintzier. I'm like, what was in there? And so obviously they started a new program and people got on that one. I think I got in on the next auto ship that they have. Uh, oh, actually one of those just came in. Um, from the Gemini 2 collection, like whenever you bought the Gemini 2. And actually they opened the auto ship up again. I don't know if it's open right now, but I know before the craft day I saw that they had the Gemini 2 with the auto ship option. I was like, huh, interesting. So anyway, um, I've been liking that auto ship. And so hopefully, you know, this one will be great too. So pattern papers, looks like two of each. Um, not the thinnest paper in the world, not the thickest cardstock, but it's not like layering weight, like the little paper thin kind. Uh, I would say less than like a good, like not a good cardstock. I would say like an 85 pound cardstock, but lighter than that, okay? But not paper weight. Um, really pretty, I love the florals on this. I don't know if I'm gonna describe each and every one, but I will show them to you because sometimes I just, uh, I don't know, I've had allergies today and I feel like already dried up as it is than to be <laughs> discussing each paper. So there you go. That's so pretty. Got this one. Again, some unexpected colors there, right? With the lavender and the orange, um, kind of goldenrod, which I love that kind of purple and yellow or those kinds of things go together really nicely. This one with the pinkish and orangish colors. And then this one here, kind of a greenish ecru kind of color background, huh? Like compared to this, you know, this one's more greenish brown than like this guy. So cute, it reminds me of cotton for some reason. Um, and then we have that pretty purple, very light purple with the cute pink and purple pops. I like the colorway on this one, really fun, different. I have this guy here. I don't know, it's you guys. I got finally the Spellbinders um, trimmers in, and you'll hear all about why I say finally. It's not really their issue, it was mine. I didn't realize <laughs> I had issues with my mail here, so they've been. it's been going to the post office. I had to go pick it up over there. But um, anyway, you can hear about that in the video. But I do have a trimmer video ready to go, but I think I'm going to release this one today because I'm sure you guys want to see this. Ooh. My neighbor drove by in her Jeep and it was kind of loud, so I'm gonna edit that out. But anyway, I figure you guys want, probably want to see this today. And look at that. Cute. Okay, pretty papers. 
linen card so this is a textured card and again with textured card generally there's one side that's less textured so you can stamp on it if you want to and then obviously it's very pretty and textured I didn't want to rip this I'm just folding my paper like bending it to get this off and so let's see the colors we have again very linen oh my gosh I'm sorry about the lighting I turned it differently there we go hopefully you can see the linen feel on that I made it more daylight than cool tone, but it still has kind of quite a bit of texture on the back, but hopefully you can see the difference between that one and this one. I'll hold it there steady for a little bit. So definitely stamp on the back. So we have a coral color. Oh, you know what? Yeah, yeah. And it's white core. And then we have like a, eh, it looks really bright pink on here. Let me see if I can mess with my lighting. I don't know if, I'll be right back. No, it still looks pretty purple. It's very pink. It does have a purple undertone, but on the video I'm seeing it very purple, but anyhow. Yellow, kind of a little bit mustard, but still bright yellow. Light blue, kind of a minty, uh, too minty and sagey green. These colors are very kind of like dusty colors, so it's hard to just pinpoint for me which one it is. And then uh, a lighter kind of lavender, so hopefully you can tell the difference how pink this is, even though it looked more purple before I brought this guy out. So a few sheets of each of those, it looks like four, and they're eight inch papers. And let's see what is going on here. So again, recipe cards, see? Again, what's old is always new, it seems like. But uh, I used to have these books from Creating Keepsakes and then um, Close to My Heart. I love those books, I'll never get rid of them. Uh, but, so here you go. This is what I was talking about. Okay, so you have that idea. Um, and you see that, and then you're like, okay, when I make my own, I'm gonna do something like this. Maybe I have three strips of paper in the background, maybe this little square, and then this one here, and then this piece. So whatever you have in your stash, you're doing this kind of thing with. Obviously, this has dies to do all these things with. It's like that little label. I don't know how much of this I should show because, again, it's the, all the instruction and then the actual recipe card. But um, here, you know, they painted that embossed uh, piece. So I do like this kind of thing especially if it's well written. So of course I will follow up with a video, um, you know, trying some of these out, right? Um, a lot of times I may not give the exact measurements because like I said, I don't know, you know, how guarded they are with this as far as like the recipes, you know, because uh, it's something they're selling, right? Uh, but I will definitely come back and tutorialize these things and, um, and we'll try out there. So yeah, I was just curious about layout and what they meant, but it's definitely not scrapbooking. It's more for um, card making, but I mean, you can take some of these ideas and make a big scrapbook page from that. I mean, you totally could, right? So it just depends, but that's a square. Obviously that's why that works out. <laughs> so anyhow, okay, well, uh, now I know what I was looking for and what I was missing. Let me see about this binder. Cause if I have this issue, you guys might have the issue and I'll try and work it out, but I'll be right back. Okay, my friends, so what I did was I just kind of looked at this on the side and what it is, is when it popped open, this thing is kind of on its own, but it's underneath this piece of metal, right? So it's on top of this weird little metal tab. It's under this. Now, what needs to happen is this needs to be on top of this piece of metal here, this little kind of bracket. And hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. I know it's hard to, this. So right now you can see, hopefully you can see it's underneath. So you need to pick this up all the way enough to get out, kind of out of the way and tuck this in here. So obviously in shipping something happened because now that makes sense. Now you put this here. This is on top of this metal piece now. This metal, just this little U or whatever. So now it's on top. And when you go like this, it pushes it down and it closes perfectly. Now you saw when I got it, it was like open and it was weird. So something happened, this jiggled underneath and made a problem. So, hey, we worked it out. I was just like, that can't be right. And I'm pressing it and pushing it. I'm like, no, I don't know. And then I was like, maybe it goes on top, but I don't want to mess it up. And all I did was kind of pull it up and it fell in. And that's how I figured that, oh, it goes on top. And so this little piece, this metal goes on top. And then this guy, again, like I said, holds things down. So let's open this up <laughs> right there where that releases. We don't have to do it much more than that. If you keep going and this pops up, just know to get this back on top. Okay. So we have all our book pieces. Now, what do you think? I think these recipe cards should go on top by themselves. And then we have this, which holds all the dies, which I don't know if I'm going to go ahead and take them all off and do that with. I guess I should. I would fear that they're going to fall down, but you know what? That can be also be part of this. So let's put the dies and then the stamps. Stamps and then dies. What do you guys think? I'm going to put the dies and then the stamp 
pieces. Um, just because this will also hold that, you know? Give it some extra. And what's interesting about that is I suppose that means you're supposed to take the stamps off the carrier, so hold on. Let me grab these. Then what's the box for, right? I guess just for presentation. Um, it's a really nice box, so obviously you can decorate it, maybe put some other things in there. So it came with two stamp sets. I guess you still have the embossing folders to go on the other. Let's get this guy out of here. And basically what I do when I have something like this is I'll take this whole back piece off and then I have this piece of acetate. As you see, it's nice and clear, nice and sturdy. I can use it for cards, shaker cards and things. And I'll stick the whole thing down. I don't know if this is ready to do that with, but it looks like it. Okay. I'm right at the edges of that though. I might bring it out a little bit more later or maybe trim off a piece of that plastic. But there you go. Let's pop this out because I wasn't going to do this, but I guess we're doing it. We're going for it, you guys. <laughs> I'm going to keep these other things though on hand just in case. So this one is actually stuck down a little bit. So what I'm going to do is just take that off. And so there we have, uh, I don't know, I'll put them there. Sentiments. And this guy. This is an interesting binder. I don't really feel like I'm going to be flipping through it. I mean, you will once this is down, right? So I guess we can do that. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's put this back on. Now, you heard what I said that maybe I won't be flipping through it. <laughs> Let's put this on. So I'm going to, well, we have this guy again. Now we can leave this guy on here loose or we can clip it down. And now it's just a little bit different, but it still moves, you know? <laughs> so I don't know, not the biggest deal. I'm gonna unclippy so it's, uh, ready to go and then this I'm just gonna hold on to this and I'm gonna pull it down and theoretically it should clip on there nicely now we can go around this whole thing it's kind of like a totally Tiffany thing right obviously my workspace is as such that I can't lay this whole thing out but you can go through it now we can go through so there's all our stuff here are the stamps that belong to this portion um, there we go and now we're in the dies should go here now let's see how strong these are they feel very thick but let's check it out. Okay. Ah, okay. You know, the whole thing can always stick down there, but you're going to need the space, so you're going to need to probably take these things off so you can get everything on here. That's a really nice amount of magnetism. <laughs> um, I mean, it's pretty good. And then I always get the question, I forget, does it stick on the back? So let me see. Uh, no. <laughs> the back is coated with this white coating. And even some things are coated and they still are uh, still have magnetism to them. This does not. So hopefully that gives you some idea. You know, once it's loaded up, I, I would still keep this somewhere safe because I would hate to move this and then these guys fall off or something, right? If they get kind of a little bit warped. Because if it kind of goes like this, you can see it starts picking up. So a little scary. Um, but I suppose if you're going to flip the whole thing, you just take the whole thing, you know, over. Um, and they were a little bit damaged. I don't know what happened there. You see this? The way they're gouged. I saw that when they were coming out of the packaging. But there we go, guys. Okay, so we figured out this binder. If yours gets messed up, you'll know how to fix it. And, um, yeah, keep an eye out. I'll have a tutorial very shortly. And, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll have the link there in the description box. And I'll see you all at the next one. Bye now.